Okay, I am back. I've got my curling iron hot. Let me go ahead and try to get some curls in it and see what it looks like. I'm late getting these up because I got stuck on that Murdoch trial. Murdoch trial again. Oh, so heartbreaking. That poor uncle of Paul's. Oh, it just broke my heart. He really loved that boy. And he just felt like it was his job to to clean up the boy's remains. But there are there are people who, who will do that. They have um victims advocates. I had a victim's advocate after my son Jeremy was killed. She would, um, you know, help me. She would go with me when I went to the state attorney's office to discuss the case. She helped me write my victim impact statement. And um, she went with me to the trial. She sat right there with me in the courtroom the whole time. Her son was not a victim of um, a drunk driver like my son was. He was killed. Um, he, you know, he was a teenager and he had him a little Honda Civic. You know, back then the Honda Civics were tiny. They weren't big like they are now. So I guess he was going a little bit too fast and he went over a railroad crossing and lost control of the car and it. He wrecked and it killed him. But anyway, there. They do have, you know, people that will come and, and go with you and, and who also will clean up if there's been a shooting or a stabbing or, you know, if there's blood or a crime scene that needs to be cleaned up. I'm sure you have to ask for it to get in touch with those people or they will help them get in touch with you. He's just a maniac. He's just evil, demonic. He had to have everything his way or no way at all. I don't know how his liver haven't, hasn't exploded with all the drugs he was on. From what he says, he must have been taking a hundred a day or more. I guess he didn't want to get clean or he would have gone and gotten help instead of being forced to go and get help. I wanted help. I wanted to get off of drugs. I just didn't want to live like that anymore. I couldn't. I wanted to reclaim my life and, and have a relationship with my living children. I'm not that good at all of this beautifying, <laughs> but I try. You gotta keep on trying, girls. You can't give up. <laughs> you never know when some um, good looking man's gonna come in contact with you and you wanna look good. I've given up just about them. Finding love, I've always been so unlucky <laughs> when it comes to men. Oh, Lord. <sighs> I really thought I had hit the jackpot when I, when I found Zeus, but after three and a half years, he, I don't know what he did. He just decided to not be in this relationship anymore. And he wasn't even going to tell me. He just stopped. You know, like I told y'all in the video the other day, didn't matter what time of the day or night, what day of the week it was, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it didn't matter. I would text him, and he would answer me immediately. Or I would call him, and he would answer me immediately. It very seldom went to voicemail. And if it did... He would always call me right back. And he called me 
every day, every morning, three or four times a day without me even calling him. So when I didn't hear from him, it was around the first week of November. You know, I sent him two or three text messages and he didn't answer me. And I called him and it went to voicemail, which his voicemail had not been set up yet. So I couldn't even leave him a voicemail. I didn't badger him or anything. I just, I think I sent maybe three text messages. And finally I said, what is wrong with you? You know, I don't know if you're sick, if you're in the hospital. Do I need to start calling hospitals? What, what to do, you know? And he didn't answer that text. So I sent him an email. And I told him that I was going to rent a car and drive to his home so I could find out what's wrong with him. Well, when I said that, I got his attention. So then he texted me and said, said what had happened, something had happened to someone that he loves, someone that he loves died. And that um, he said he was taking time off. He was, he said he was at his cabin in Gatlinburg, and he was taking time off from working and time off from YouTube. So that was it. I think I still have that text. I think it's dated November the seventh. So I let go. I'm not, like I said before, I'm not chasing after him. I don't chase after men. No, sir. I have too much pride. What good would it do anyway? You know, when someone doesn't want to be with you anymore, there's nothing that you can do to change the way that they feel in their heart. You might put some thoughts in their mind where they might, oh, well, let me go ahead and quarter a little bit longer or try to ease out of it. I think in a way it was, it was best that he just ended it immediately and not strung me along. I could tell like towards about the middle of October, the end of October that he was, our relationship was cooling off a little bit. I think y'all might have noticed that he wasn't responding to y'all in comments as much. So, when he said he was taking time off from work and everything else, YouTube, I thought our relationship extended beyond just YouTube, but I guess it didn't. I thought wrong. Okay, so let's see what this butterfly haircut looks like. Do y'all like it? Do you think it turned out good? It's beautiful, right? Oh, how pretty. I love it. I hope y'all will try it. I tried my best to give you some good instructions. How does it look? Is it pretty? got this curly before. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love the butterfly cut. I will definitely be doing my own hair from now on. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I did leave pretty good instructions and I will link um, the Mondo video in the description, the link for it if you want to watch it and he is a professional so you will get more from his video than mine. But 
I hope that you will give my video a thumbs up and share. And if you're new here, I would love it if you would join my YouTube family. You will be loved and accepted here. And y'all just keep on coming back. Have a great evening, guys. Bye.